Um, well, let's see. Is this... Uh, okay. Hello again. I uh, have been hearing about, but I haven't actually seen the launch of the Elon Mus Musk rocket uh, with its rather unusual payload. And I thought I'd watch it because I, I, re I, I thought I'd watch it with you because putting a, a, an electric car into space, <coughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, is start that YouTube video, um, but I'm going to play it without the sound so that uh, it doesn't interfere with what I'm saying. I'll, I'll then download it and put it up here, uh, and, and I hope I get the two of them more or less, uh, you know, more or less equal to what I'm saying. So uh, here we go, and I'll see if it works. This is, uh, all right, start it up. Right. The rocket is is going ah i can see some smoke now uh and the gantry is falling away so there it goes it's a beautiful looking thing but to see a rocket going up like that that's been put into space not by a government agency this is what really made me think of of really watching it, you know, I, I mean, uh, you see launches happening all the time, but this is being done by a private company, by what you could say ordinary people, uh, although I wouldn't call Elon Musk an ordinary person really by any stretch of the imagination. But let's put it this way, the individual imagination, the visionary. This is the result of, of a visionary rather than a bureaucratic process. And, and, and the, the two boosters are coming back down again, aren't they? <coughs> That's going to be interesting. I was brought up with the idea of rockets going up and then well, just being disposable, really. Uh, and the only thing that comes back down is, is the astronauts, if they're lucky, and, and in a very small shell, and you, you can't really... You, you can sort of predict where they're going to come down, but they have to have the whole Navy out looking for them. I believe that one return... They, I, I, now, I, I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And I, I think there was one where they, they, I, they didn't quite know where the astronaut or astronauts had come down. And, uh, and it was a bit of a race to find the capsule before it sank. I believe the astronaut down near drowned. Um, anyway, let's watch this. And then I can't watch this without a shout to... That poor dog, Laika, the Russian dog, that they put into space just to see how a living creature would take to space. Oh, ah, something's fallen off. There they go, the boosters. The boosters are falling off. I think, I, you know, I, I'm not getting any speech, so I'm not sure. Um, anyway, let's get back to Laika. She was put into space. They couldn't bring her back. Now, the story was that they killed her humanely. I don't think they did. I don't think the Russians cared too much about dogs in those days. I think what happened was they just let her suffocate. There, something's gone. 
No doubt you'll get the explanation when I when I put the the downloaded video up, up here. But it's prob it's up there now, isn't it? But it will be by the time you see it. Look at that. <sighs> anyway, poor little Lyca. I did feel sorry. For oh, <laughs> there's. <laughs> <laughs> There's the car. Don't panic. Ah, Douglas Adams, if only you could have lived to have seen that. So, off it goes. Yeah, well, I can see everybody's cheering now. Well, I don't know what's happened, but something was really successful. We'll get that afterwards. Stage two, whatever that is. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Now. That was awesome. That's the only thing I can You know, <laughs> I write about the re I write and I um, I talk on YouTube about the ridiculousness and the stupidity of humans, how, how utterly, utterly stupid we can be. And, and, and it's easy to forget how magnificent we can be as well. Look at this, look at it. Just look what we have done. We, I'm including myself among the people who did this. I probably don't deserve that. This is amazing. I might, I might delete some of this. I might cut some of this out because I don't know whether it'll just get boring, me sitting here and, and you watching that at the side. So I, I might do a cut, but uh, we'll see how it goes. You'll have the sounds when it comes up, when, when I've uh, put it up there. Amazing. And as you can see on your screen, that re Just 167 kilometers. Drive that. It just makes, oh, crikey, there's a burn of some sort going on now. I don't know what that is. 171 kilometers, I mean. Oh, the rocket's coming back. Right, I see it now. I know what's, I can see what's going on. Those rockets are coming back down. They're not disposable. Oh, goodness me. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. Oh, goodness me, here it comes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Just look at it, just think about what, what's going on here. Oh, blimey! <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Oh! <laughs> That's amazing! something out of, well, that really is like something out of science fiction. Oh, I, I, I was watching this to see the car, but it 
it's not the car. The truly amazing thing was bugger the car. <laughs> That's funny, but it's those rockets firing, opening up, and landing. That's what's amazing. The car's just well, at the moment, it's just nonsense. It's those rockets coming back. Where are they? I want to see that again. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Look, everybody should be rejoicing that we have done something, we, the human race, We have done something truly amazing now. I'd say this is really now the space age. That Elon must just keep on doing what you're doing, please. And quickly, I want to live to see some of this. Amazing.